Welcome back to Filipino Wife Abroad. Uh, he gave me a task, which you know in America, of you know Thanksgiving Day is gonna be celebrated this weekend. So this is gonna be my second experience here in the US. Last year I was so lost, and this year I'm still lost. So because I'm lost, I gotta find a way for me to uh, participate, of course, in Abel's family. It is our turn year this year to prepare, you know, on Thanksgiving Day. That is, we're gonna go to my mother-in-law's house and gonna prepare a turkey. Turkey! So this is gonna be my second time experience of eating turkey. So after the Thanksgiving day last year, I didn't try turkey anymore. All right, so this year is gonna be big time because I'm doing it by myself. Of course, through the help of my, this one. You know, I'm a teacher, by the way, by profession, but this time I'm gonna cheat, okay? So I'm gonna cheat because I have here a very, very, very good leakage. So this is Chris's uh, secret turkey recipe. So welcome to our turkey making premiere. Well, I already prepared, of course, my ingredients. So the first part first is what you call brining. Yeah, we're gonna boil something. It's kind of mixture to, uh, what is this? Well, it's a salt mixture. Brine is a salty mixture to break down the muscle fats. I mean, the muscle of the tissue turkey. of the turkey. It makes it tender, but it also gives you a chance to introduce some flavoring into it. Yes, sir. And some acidity. So we're looking to increase the acidity and break down the muscle tissue, make it more tender. At first, I honestly, I did not believe my husband. Like he was saying that he has really the best turkey, but well, we had a lot of chicken in the Philippines and you know, we have mug in the cell, we have chokes to go, but I think turkey, I tried, you know, my cameraman is looking at me. He's not paying me, but he's just giving me gadgets, you know. <laughs> But uh, this time I'm gonna take you know his secret recipe. So without further ado, guys, welcome to our premiere and let's now start the show. All right, so again, the first part of our show today is brining. I mean, tonight is already late. So it's brining. So how we prepare the brining is we need the apple cider, two bottles of this. And we get, of course, our orange juice. Just a bottle. We need salt. Where do we have to use the old salt we have here? Can we? If it's kosher salt. Is it kosher salt? Are there other different kinds of salt? Yes, there are different kinds of salt. Okay, and also we well, got- But if we have kosher salt open, we should use it. Yeah, let's check first. Right. Not sea salt, kosher salt. Sea salt, yeah, they are sea salt. So what is kosher salt? It's more coarse, it has a slightly different taste. Okay, so guys, we also need thyme. Of course, let's not forget the celery seeds here. We got bay leaves. So we got also here the whole cloves. Yeah, the sugar. Yeah, we need the sugar. And we need some measuring cups here. All right, so cheat, cheat, cheat. All right, so bring the boil steering along the way. Remove pot, blah, blah, blah. So we get to start. So we're gonna mix all of them, right? Yes, mix all of them. Okay, so guys, this is really exciting. Is it very close, please? I mean, it's very important here. So by the way, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. This is, I'm, I'm pretty excited right now. Really believe me, Chris. Um, you know, somehow after a year, I feel comfortable. Well, because we are at our own house, so no more comfortable. But hey, every time we have celebration in the Philippines, I do it by myself, all the dishes. All my family and relatives know that. Do you shake your apple cider before pouring it in in the Philippines? Oh, do we need to? I don't know, is that how you do it in the Philippines? I don't know. Well, we can, we're going to pour all, right? Yeah, but you may want to shake it. Why? Well, you don't want everything settling on the bottom right away. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, just a little. Shake it? Okay. Yeah. Don't explode, dude. It's not carbonated, Pinky. It won't explode. Well. All right, so guys, let's put the uh, apple cider 
You know, earlier Chris um, actually said that uh, this is the secret. You know, there are so many types of turkey. There are so many ways of Americans or American families make their own turkey. But what makes, you know, his own turkey really the best and, you know, the, 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 the yummiest is this one, you know. And again, I always emphasize this and I keep saying this, that he learned, you know, this uh, turkey recipe for 20 years and he perfected it. I'm a difficult person to please, guys, really, you know, with the food. Chris is so stressed of me because I'm so difficult to please. I'm a very cold person, but my husband's turkey is really good. So I'm very excited to acquire this skill because only me knew it. Shake. This is really tight, like. All right, good enough, thank you. I'm not really sure, like, so you guys who are Americans here, or I don't know who are from, from, from what, from, from London, do you also have your turkey there? Canada? Do they have turkey? I don't think they're allowed to have can turkey in Canada. Oh, I think really? it's against the, the rules in Canada to have turkey. Oh, wow. What about in London? So what about in uh, London? I'm guys? sure London has. They, what are the other countries who prepare turkey? Uh, Canadians like turkey. The people in London like turkey. The people in Mexico like turkey. Everybody likes turkey everywhere. No, I mean culture. Culture, you know, turkey was because it's the... it's an American thing, right? Well, we didn't have this in the Philippines. I'm sorry, guys. Am I rude? <laughs> yeah. Well, you do have it in the Philippines. You just never had it in the Philippines. No, we don't different. have turkey. I mean, I, I think maybe because turkey is... Uh... I've been to Subway in the Philippines, and they had turkey Subway no. sandwiches. They did, too. I know that, because that's what I got. Oh, my God. I'm very poor Filipino. <laughs> I don't go to really good restaurants. Are they serving good restaurants? Subway is not a good restaurant, Piggy. It's just a sandwich. Ah, uh, Subway. All right, so That's what are you right. putting in now? So now uh, let's do the orange juice here, guys. And what does the orange juice buy? What? The orange juice creates the acidity. Uh, it also creates a nice floral Well, aroma. over the apple cider, I think. The apple cider does too, but the two of them together. So does apple cider, uh, so the apple cider, guys, really makes this perfect, I think. Well, I know. All right, so next is two cups of salt. So we got here. Um, mm. What? Why didn't you just open the side? So what? How will I open it? Turn, turn, turn. It's, you're going to make a mess, babe. Where? In the pouring. You pour it here where it's where? supposed to be open. Right here, babe. Uh <laughs> here? Yes. How? They don't have salt in the Philippines. <laughs> so. This one? What the heck? You really don't have salt in the Philippines? No, we don't have that. Everybody has this, Pinky. Oh, man. Generally, it comes out. This pours out. Mm. So we'll do this and put it in a bag. Okay. <laughs> I met, I broke this. We don't have this in the Philippines. <laughs> I bet you if I go to the Philippines and get a box of salt that has that. I mean, in my Pinoy, meron ba tayo neto? Meron tayo neto, okay. Uh, meron, hindi ko alam. I don't know actually if we have this. Charmy, we go to Sari Sari store and buy one peso, two peso pack of... Two pesos of like salt. Anyway, uh, two cups of salt. So this, wait a minute. So this is one cup. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so this is one cup. One cup. So guys, I hope that you're gonna follow this because it's really, really perfect. It's really yummy.
Okay. Don't just toss it all in. That's okay. Oh, okay. Said right. rocket science. So get two cups, one half box of brown sugar. Where's the box? Now just toss that in. All? I'd toss it all in. You're not eating the sugar. It's just to help break down the uh, help break down the turkey. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour it now. Yeah, just pour it in. It's probably a brick. So let's pour the brown sugar. No measurement. Anyway, we're gonna wash into the turkey tomorrow. Oh, yeah, no, the no, sugar. The care. sugar is not getting in the turkey. Uh, so that's all right. So it won't make it sweeter or less sweet. All right, so then after that, we got to put the cloves. Pinch. Pinch. Just dump a few in. Just dump it in. Yeah, that's good. Pinch. Done. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do the thyme. All right, thank you for coming to this uh, premiere. Connect, connect each other. So some a lot a lot more than the cloves that can go in pretty heavy okay all right okay so that's our celery our thyme next is our celery so i wouldn't sprinkle i would just dump some in before okay. i put that in there all right that's good okay next when it comes to our bay leaves we need only not one two three four five six seven eight but nine keep connected guys keep connected hello one two three four and a half five and a half six seven eight Okay, and the last one, big one, okay? You put one more in there, Pinky, because you put like a partial one in. Remember, guys, no partial, okay? Well, you can have partial, but make sure it adds up. Put enough partials to where it adds up to one. You may want to clean off the stuff so it yes, doesn't get yes, in yes. crust. All right. Okay. So, we're just going to mix it. Okay, mix it well. Boil it up. Yeah. Now? I would, yeah. Guys, you know what? It smells really so good, really. Oh my goodness. So this is the brining solution or the brining steps. We're just gonna boil this because we're gonna cool this down later. I already prepared my uh, cooler and I get a, you know, and what are you gonna do with this cooler? Yeah, I gotta put a knife and I gotta put a turkey. So tomorrow, hopefully, since this is gonna be cold, we're gonna put this in the fridge. Yeah, we'll put it in the fridge overnight and then we'll pour it in in the morning. Overnight, oh my gosh, it just cold. Well, but I didn't buy any ice today. I planned on going out and buying more ice. We have very little ice, so by having it cold, um, yeah. I, don't, I won't need as much ice. I'm gonna prepare, um, you know, the apple. Oh, no, 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 the derby. What? It's a derby pie. Yeah, I'm gonna make the derby pie for the second time around. It was really yummy to last year. I tried it, of course, from Chris. You know, hang on. And thank you for attending my premiere. So guys, connect, 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 connect. Thank you for, uh, you know, going there on our live chat. So I would like to uh, give a shout out to everyone who are attending. So again, we are celebrating the Thanksgiving Day in, uh, you know, here in the U.S. by this weekend. And I'm very excited because... You know it's not Thanksgiving this weekend, right? I don't know. No, this is our practice to Thanksgiving, Pinky. When is the Thanksgiving, Charlie? It's the end of November. This was the practice before Thanksgiving. So... Remember we discussed maybe it'd be good for you to have a practice run before the actual event? It's a month before Thanksgiving, babe. Oh my God, so... 
<laughs> so what we're just doing is we're doing a practice run. <laughs> so. Oh my God. I'm embarrassed. American people, peace. <laughs> oh my God. But it's okay. You know, since we are in Turkey, uh, no, since we are, since we are in Kentucky tomorrow, I cannot actually do the live stream with Chris. So this is what I plan. It's a good thing. So we're gonna have you know something to premiere. Um, I'll make sure that I'm gonna make this it's like over an hour, you know. So all right. Oh my goodness, this is really embarrassing. So this is a practice. See, my husband is very sweet. He cares about me. <laughs> He does not really want me to be embarrassed in front of Abel's family. So you know what? You know who will eat this, guys? Nobody's gonna eat this. Yeah, it's only prime. three. Only three of us. It's just Chris, I, and Mom. Because this is just a practice. Oh, oh my gosh! And also the derby pie tomorrow. It's a practice, Pinky. It's a practice pie. It's a practice turkey. You need at least one good go before the pressure's on Thanksgiving. You'll have a much bigger crowd and people will be passing judgment upon your turkey. This, there's no judgment tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta be executed on that day. Not embarrassed of what I'm doing here because, you know, uh, I already understand like how to open the assault box, you know? Well, that was big. Yeah, so. and now I know like how to, um, instead of sprinkling, of course, this. But they are not, you know, they are not unusual. Lou, we have that here in our cabinets. And yeah, but you don't have salt in the Philippines. <laughs> so if you don't have salt in the Philippines, I don't know what the hell you have and what you're used to. Peace, uh, <laughs> Pinoy. Nah, the box. I bet you they sell salt in boxes in the Philippines. I bet you a hundred dollars that no, you can no, go no, to no, any no, no, any this. grocery store. I just ordered two passes in Sunny Sunny store. Well, how do you get two cups of salt to brine your turkeys? From we don't have turkey. What, we have, have chicken. To, they don't. I'm sure they have turkeys in the Philippines too, Pinky. I've never tried, but I saw it, you know, in a freezer and. Well, I know they have them at Subway. I, no, 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 I think they have turkeys, and you know there are so many foreigners there. There are. You know, Western guys or Western people or American people who live in the Philippines, somehow they miss their food. So for sure they have that. Oh my goodness, Pinky, it'll never warm up. We'll be here all night. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but this is hot, you know. Mm -hmm. We'll turn it to high. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, because it's going to be a while to get this warm up, Pinky. We could be here for 30 minutes. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to not camera for the next 30 minutes. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to turn, turn it off now. Bye. Yeah, never hit the record button. Here we go. Start over. Filipino wife abroad here. Chris screwed up the camera. <laughs> and now. Oh, oh. Uh, all right. It's you still boring. You lost the moment. I lost the moment. All right. Yeah. So. You know what, guys? I was already acting. All right, what do you got here, Pinky? The brine, it just finished boiling. We just took it off, right? Yeah. Live in the moment. Don't live in the past. Move forward. You know what, guys? I really planned this procedure. I really planned because I really want to make, you know, this document really complete, perfect, you know, memories with my brining to boiling to freezing to making the turkey until the next day but Chris already missed the part so anyway we already boiled this and even our dog is really really disappointed what? with me huh no he's really wondering and I'm so curious like what that really smells so good really really good I'm not kidding it's really so you want to see you want to see our dog's reaction so here is the spatula. See? He's licking! He did not, for the record, he did not lick the spatula. He did not lick the spatula, okay? Just... But he will. Yeah, see that? You're not but careful. Yeah, so it smells really good. He did not lick it, guys. 
If it licks, anyway, our dog, right? So yeah, let's just uh, wait this till it cools down. And we're ready to go to bed because it's already late, guys. It's already 10 o'clock in the evening. All right, so see ya, thank you so much. So please keep watching and keep, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Keep connected, guys. Thank you so much for attending my premiere. So Pinky, why did you just take the brine out of the sink? Guys, you know what? It's just really, really late. Uh, we are really sleepy right now. And uh, we couldn't just really wait till it cools down. So what we did is, uh, honestly, we actually soaked you know, the pot here. Uh, the water is really cold. So now it's perfect for, you know, for uh, getting this in the fridge. What do you think? I it's think a little hot. Fine. No, it's still it'll, a little hot. Yeah, it'll be hot. But it'll still be okay inside the fridge. Are you sure? Uh, let's put it on a uh, put it on a cloth, and it'll be okay. I'm ready, Ginto. Don't mess me up. Don't block my way, Ginto. All right. So, all right. So that's all for tonight, guys. You know, and tomorrow we're just gonna continue. That was our brine again, or briny. So tomorrow we're just gonna do the turkey. The turkey is here, still here, and it's ready for tomorrow. Yeah, so the cooler is ready. So keep connected, guys. Thank you for coming here uh, to our premiere, all right? And remove this. No, 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 that must stay on. All right. I just pull this one. Yeah. Get the legs open. Remove this. Yep. Okay. So this is the no. neck. Yep. Just throw this away. Yeah, throw it away. I can cook this. I just throw it away. For him, dog. Just throw it away, thank you. See what else yummy things are in there? Ooh, throw that away. Just throw this stuff away. This is what? Some um, like a gizzard or something. Just throw uh, it away. Uh, Just throw it away. Get throw it away. Some people use it. And there's some more. Yes. Now you want to get them at the top. There should be a bag. Oh. You want to get rid of that? Throw that away. You don't want to open it. Just throw it away. Thank you. All right. And clean. And then just hold it, wash it and pat it down and then put it in the cooler. And bring the cooler to you. There you go. Well guys, Filipino Web Abroad here. Welcome back to my channel. It's so early in the morning and you know, um, yeah, I already washed, you know, our turkey, uh, already uh, defroze. Now let's, let's surround our turkey. But, but I was going to the grocery yesterday to buy more ice, but it was such a torrential storm. Toss that in. Smells really good. Combination of cider and uh, thyme, you know, the other spices. Guys, after that, yeah, that's all. And then every uh, three or four hours, you want to rotate the turkey. Three to four hours. Put your hand yeah, in there and three rotate to four it. Hours. I get to write down because this is just only a practice. So, uh, you know, in actual on Thanksgiving Day, which I realized yesterday or last night that it's not Thanksgiving Day tomorrow. So for the meantime, I'm gonna make another new recipe, a practice, 
and that is the derby pie all right so see ya hey guys so welcome back to my channel filipino wife abroad here and uh, thank you for attending this premiere yeah it's still going on and thank you and shout out to those people and i hope that you guys keep connected you know to each other here uh while well, me i'm just continuing you know what i supposed to do because uh today i will just have only my pre uh you know thanksgiving day preparation which is just totally a practice and i just realized it last night that it's not thanksgiving day tomorrow oh, sorry um yeah i uh, you know chris will just make me comfortable because it's gonna be you know my job my entire job on thanksgiving day you know on november so uh, but that is all right anyway um since this is my second time because last year it was uh you know i was just uh, assisting chris making this one so this time i hope that on november i will be the one to make you know the entire work so for the meantime i still need chris so as you see that he was still guiding me uh, you know to go through with the process and then we're going to kentucky later and we're just gonna cook the uh, turkey tomorrow morning for the meantime i gotta cook or i gotta prepare another recipe which is the uh, chris's caribbean derby pie so, yeah i am gonna show you anyway how to prepare it with the help of course of my magic leakage welcome back uh thank you so much for attending this premiere again because i cannot do my live um this is going to be a very big time uh you know premiere because i don't know you know what uh if you remember that i made my uh, fresh tomato soup last time and it was also on the spot that I unboxed, you know, my uh, blender. So this time, guys, since I'm making Chris um, Caribbean Derby pie, you know, we gotta do, you know, um, mixing, serious mixing. And I, I know that so many of you are just really used to this and it's really your job, it's really your hobby, you know. And I saw it and really saw your videos and your channels but me this is again gonna be my first time <clears throat> well i do it manually you know i'm using the whisker but chris said i gotta do it like a lot of mixing so i need i think mixer well what's the use of my this one yep 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 yeah i gotta unbox this on the spot and it has been a year you know it has been a year that this mixer it's just you know staying there at a corner and i did not use this but it's time it's time guys you know i'm a little what i'm a little excited because you know it's time to use my mixer it's a virgin okay so i already saw many of you know the baking shows on your channels um and this is a very common mixer that I see that you guys are using. So, so far my blender, I already figured out uh, using it. Uh, one of my friends actually told me, like, she did not believe me that it was my first time to use the blender. Yeah, shout out to Gina Bakaling. So, she's my friend in college. And she did not actually believe me that it was my first time to use the uh, blender just like this it's my first time uh, so we got here this is so virgin guys so i actually totally have no idea how to use this so we got kitchenaid we got here the um red color and a picture so this is a kind of kind of common you know that i see um you know on my uh, friends channels So guys, you know what? I really apologize if I am really making stupid stuff here. But my first time, please understand. So this looks perfectly like in a picture as I can see it. I don't know. I, I, I was just uh, holding back to use this. So Chris really wonders when I can use this. And yeah, this is the time. I actually, my dog snaked the uh, manual 
which he usually does every time you know i don't pay attention to him he does that sorry guys this is premiere it's a very long video everything from fresh pasta to you can also have your burgers and the veggie noodles and ice cream and more wow it's amazing so since i already opened this and about to use i think i gotta pay attention to your channel is more you know what you make what you bake whatever what you mix <clears throat> i'm scared maybe i'm gonna break something oh, I can't. so i guess this is not in use anymore so i guess this is just uh to protect you know during the shipping i don't know <clears throat> And guess what, guys? I almost lost this. I almost throw this away, you know, that time. Because I thought this was not important. Not a part of the item, but my mistake. So good thing I didn't throw this away yet. Until Chris asked me, uh, you know, he looked for this part and I realized it's important. <laughs> So, I guess, oh, you cannot remove this. Oh, no, you can't. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I can't remove this. So, guys, again, I'm pulling this out uh, this time because I'm making the, uh, you know, the derby pie. Uh, derby pie is traditional uh, American pie on Thanksgiving. It's totally new for, for me as a Filipino. Uh, we don't have that. So the Thanksgiving day, since it falls in November, in the Philippines, we actually celebrate the All Souls Day, which is a very big holiday in my country. So we don't have pie, pie, pie thing. So like in All Souls Day, what we have is uh, basically various kinds of um, yeah, sticky recipes. You know, any, anything, any, any sticky, sticky recipes. So growing up, we just only have that, you know, the suman, biko, you know, these are the, uh, or those are the uh, local language we use for those uh, recipes. So we got a bowl. So this is where, of course, we're gonna mix our ingredients. So I guess uh, I gotta wash this first, all right? All right, so guys, I already washed this bowl. So guys, thank you for coming to my premiere. Uh, stay connected there. Shout out to everyone. Mega, mega, mega shout out to everyone. Those, um, you know, who keep coming back to my channel. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Yeah, this is a little heavy. Sorry guys, this is really my first time. I, you know, I, I look um, not excited, but inside I'm excited because, you know, finally I can use, you know, my machine. Uh, Chris bought this last year. It was also Black Friday since uh, Black Friday is again coming. So when it is Black Friday, everything is really almost a perk. Not really almost, it's just uh, maybe a 70% perk. No, it's just, uh, you know, 70% off. It's, anyway, there are some goods that are really cheap. So, um, yeah, it's really the best time to go shopping. I think KitchenAid is a good quality product. This is expensive, actually, you know. For me, I'm not buying this. But, you know, as a married woman, I gotta start, because in the Philippines, again, always in the Philippines, right? Sorry, I'm Filipino. But what really excites me um, about this thing is, you know, since I am watching your cooking show and uh, you have a lot of blendings there and mixing there, I guess, you know i can relate to it now or maybe giving you know you're giving all of your recipes really a try since i already have my own mixer so can you imagine for a year this mixer was just sitting there at a corner so i'm thankful to my husband because he's not pressuring me but this time i'm i'm so much pressured because he already gave me my you know my leakage so it's gonna be easier, I guess, because I just gotta follow the steps he wrote here last night. Oh my god, I gotta watch this, right? But how to...
so guys this is the thing that i cannot trust truly really do like by myself i still need him because i think i need to wash this one And I gotta go to the manual. Oh, okay. So this is my mission to remove this. You gotta align like this. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna watch this first. Okay guys, so I'm back. Achievement! Right, and after that, um, I gotta start now, uh, you know, beating my ingredients for my derby pie. Going back to my uh, secret recipes. So we need one cup Cairo syrup. This is a Cairo syrup. So Cairo, by the way, is, oh, it's corn, corn syrup. One cup. <clears throat> okay. Gotcha. After that, we got sugar for one cup. One cup. Okay, so we're gonna pour it here. This is so on the spot ingredients and preparation. Even the unboxing. And for eggs done, time to mix this. And I don't know how to use this yet. So hang on, I'm gonna move my mixer and let's start the fight. Okay. So guys, I think I'm ready to start stirring this wine. Uh, I mean to blend, to mix, but uh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys. <laughs> but you know what? I'm actually thankful that I already saw your vlogs. You know, those um, baking vlogs. You make me comfortable. So somehow I already have an idea. Guys, I'm very sorry. But I'm just really thankful that you are coming to my premiere right now. So keep connected while me. I gotta speed up a bit. Okay, so that's our number one. So we gotta move to number two. Okay, let's try number four. Look at, I'm scared. Hold on, guys. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh my god. Yay! Now I can do whatever you do. Now I gotta start baking! And let's see. There you go. Turn off. Turn off. <laughs> it's fun. So you're gonna tilt it like this and uh, but mm, there's still in here at the bottom. So why is there still at the bottom? Do I need to? adjust my whisker i can see guys i can see there are still some solid at the bottom like syrup i think we need to control it right to make it go deeper uh, did emmanuel say that okay hold on get the front of the push pull away from the stand mixer you know the manual doesn't say but I guess we got a control. I doubt. Oh. Hello guys, so that's all. I, I, I gotta focus this time and I really have to figure out like how to mix it at the bottom of this bowl because there is solid in there, which I really need to, you know, to whisk, okay? And yeah, keep connected to each other. So see you around, all right? You gotta stop operating, I guess, and then just scrape at the bottom and then restart. Am I right?
And then it's crepe. All right. Okay, for the last round. Gotcha. And that's the last. I feel comfortable now. Now I know how to use it. Now I know, I know. Okay, so it's time to uh, mix the other ingredients. You know, based on my uh, leakage here. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. I panic, I panic, I panic. <laughs> One and one fourth, I mean. Okay. So one and one fourth chocolate chips. And then a cup of walnut. So we're gonna use of course this walnut. All right, so just a cup. One cup. All right, then a cup. And after putting on the walnut, let's have our um, um, one half cup of butter. So we're gonna have butter. So good thing because there's already measurement of the butter, so I like it. Okay. So this is the half. My husband said I gotta melt this because I remember my first cookie attempt, my first ever uh, baking attempt here on my channel. Yeah, please check that out because I put this directly in an oven without this one. So one comment there suggested that I gotta put it here because I mess it up, you know, in an oven. And it's gonna be very quick. So what's your pie? What is your plan? What is the pie that you're gonna make for Thanksgiving? Are you gonna have that? Now that I know how to use my mixer, I am very excited to make, uh, you know, to, to explore more of the baking. I think I gotta make, God, next time I gotta make a cake. I think it's already melting. Oh, why is it brown? It's burnt. Burnt. I think I'm not gonna have it. So I get out. Not another one then, okay? All right. Let's do it again. Let's see. Perfect. So I yeah, I'm gonna make a cake. All right. And then next to the butter is the page low alert. Uh coconut is gonna be just your choice and teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla extract. Just teaspoon of vanilla. Let's go. Gotcha. I think vanilla will, you know, um give aroma. So my husband is having a meeting. He works straight at home. Okay, so going back to our mixer. So this is it. You see that? It's really good, guys. It smells really, really great. Of course, uh, we're going to mix this. Mix, mix, mix. Never ending mix. So from now on, since I know now how to use my machine, that machine, I have to. I must, you know, stay and pay attention to what you are baking. So I could make, uh, you know, something new to my husband. Oh, at last I already opened my gift after a year, guys. After a year. All right. So guys, thank you for attending this premiere. Keep connected. I hope that uh, you guys leave, you know, comments in there so I could go back to your houses. Please stay, stay, stay. Again, 
This is just a free Thanksgiving preparation. It means that Chris is making me comfortable since again, I'm gonna do this uh, really on uh, Thanksgiving day next month. So last night, um, I realized that it's not Thanksgiving day tomorrow. All I thought is Thanksgiving day. All right guys, so yeah, I gotta set this aside. So I already have my pie crust. And we gotta put the crust. Okay, okay guys, so I got already my mixture here. Hold on. And then... Okay. I gotta clear all my mess. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for coming to my premiere and shout out to everyone there thank you so much for your uh you know support ever i think i feel like i'm ready for the real thanksgiving preparation so if that is the case then uh you know my husband can leave me in the kitchen by myself i can prepare on thanksgiving day by myself i think i'm confident now so guys, I'm gonna show you like how this looks like. This is it. And then we're gonna put this like for 45 minutes. Um, and I'm, I'm just gonna update you how this looks like later when it's done, all right? So we're gonna set this all in all actually 45 minutes and then 15 minutes first and then uh, we get to cover it and for the rest minutes is yeah. yeah for the entire so you're gonna set it for 15 minutes okay to cover that so again 15 minutes and then take it out and cover it with foil and yeah, for 45 minutes, our pie is ready to serve. And I'm going to show you later the finished product. See you. Thank you for attending my premiere this time, guys. And um, yeah, see you around. Okay. So Normally, I would just pull the rack out and put it while leaving it in place. I'm sorry. I'll show you after you put that down. Oh my god. It's very hot and I'm stuck. Let me show you how I would do it. Bit more mean. Oh my god. Just directly, you right there. Okay. Why did I take it off? I don't know why you took it off. Well, strategy. My first time, guys, I didn't see Chris doing this last year. So this is uh, I supposed to do. Okay, make a hole in the middle. Anyway, we are doing this to protect, um, you know, the crust to burn. All right. Let's bake it again for the last um, 30. You know, 30. Yeah, so we're done and we're going to wait for 30 minutes. And I'll be back. And then, because I'm gonna clean the kitchen after this. We're leaving for Kentucky in five hours. Wow, it was quick. Okay guys, so I did not show you like how we take it out, but um, is this perfect? Oh. I wonder, because why? Oh, look at the crust, is perfect. Good. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. I think we're just going to wait till it cools down, you know? I think it looks pretty good. I don't know about you. I don't know. I just, this is your recipe, so. I think it looks pretty good. Now my recipe. 
<laughs> now my recipe. Oh, you're not taking any credit for this, huh? Now my recipe. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, no patent, right? <laughs> well, you're sharing my recipe with the world, so. <laughs> All right, so really, guys, so we're going to put the cream, the whipped cream here. It is really good. So let's see I try this. But this, so this is not is... the Caribbeanized version. This uh, is the Caribbean version. This is oh, really? Version. This is the Kentucky version. Kentucky version? Yeah, it's Kentucky. Anyway, I tried this last year. It was really good. So that's all, guys. I think uh, we are done today. And yes, thank you for watching again. And uh, But it's not burnt, and the crust looks beautiful. Never, never. Yeah, it's it's really perfect. All right, so isn't it perfect, guys? So I'm going to zoom it too. Yeah, my first baking. Perfect baking, yeah, I think. All right. See. Thank you so much for watching. Sure, Keep here. subscribing. Thank you for visiting my premiere. Love you all. See? Filipino wife abroad. So this is after 24 hours of um, soaking this chicken, this turkey. So we need to take it out here. Yeah. Okay. It's really hot. So spray. You're done. You're done. Right. And then salt and pepper. Yeah, there's some salt and pepper in here. Up above. Just had my uh olive oil spray and it's time to put the salt and the pepper taste salt to taste all right But the drumsticks and the wings will burn for sure if they don't get some foil on it. That's good. Set the timer for one hour. Start. Okay. All right, guys. So I'll follow you the abroad here. Welcome back. And I'm going to say goodbye now because I'm done. So I'll see you at one hour. Okay. Follow the wife abroad here. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm very happy. Guys, at last, finally, finally, I'm done with my uh, mission today, which is just a practice. This is um, it's a pre-Thanksgiving Day celebration. Um, you can see that. What a beautiful bird you can see in there. All right, so I'm very confident that I am taking over someone's throne in Abel's family. No. <laughs> the throne's being loaned to you. You're not taking it over. No, I mean, who's cooking? Who's cooking? You're cooking this. Who's tasting? Well, and I'm then tasting. if they're tasting it, and if they're trying, and they say really positive things about my bird, then I'm going to say, I cooked it. I cannot tell them Chris did, right? So, Charming, it's your, it's your big mistake. Giving you this much control, <laughs> surrendering. Right. 
So, so guys, so finally, uh, so all in all, we got uh, we cooked this like for three hours, and we already showed you how you know each of the step you were there and yeah that's all how we prepared for this turkey and it's my second year celebration but it's my first time to prepare this there's a lot of work you to know, put in totally. that turkey yeah it was very comfortable for me very uh very fun i think it's really fun so apart from the turkey uh well it goes really very well with um since this is just a practice so uh, there are just only Chris, I, and uh, mom will share the meal today. So since this is just a practice, it's just only good for three of us. So we prepared just a very little bowl of each of this recipe. Like we got here the mashed potato. Uh, they are actually ready to cook one. And um, I, I, it looks actually boring. <laughs> I mean, it looks so pale. You know, it's just all white and I cannot really figure out like it's that mashed potato it's just white so i think we gotta put or sprinkle you know color in it so this is the uh, stuffing also in the box it's ready to uh you know to cook and we got here the um uh, yeah the salad but why do you say that is this is special kind of salad it's, it's my first time to try this actually it's special because it was on sale <laughs> So you Ooh, know Chris it's very just, special. Chris is just too honest. Peace. Yes. All right. And take note. It's very special every week because it's on sale every week. We buy what's on sale. Got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. All right. So we got, you know, the turkey and this one's and we're going to have and the carpet. rolls and of course the traditional bread here, the Hawaiian bows. But lately I, I think I'm liking the Italian bread that Chris picked. You know, and uh, we have that every week. So, uh, but, but mom's here, favorite. Mom's, yeah, but in Abo's family, this is the uh, the tradition, the traditional bread. So you should not miss this bread. Yeah, that's it. So we're gonna have a breakfast, lunch. So yeah, brunch. So we're gonna wait like for ten minutes more, and then I'm gonna scrape it. I'm gonna show again how to scrape, scrape it. What? Carve. A it. carve. I'm sorry. Carve. To to carve it. <laughs> to carve it. Yeah. To, to carve it. Carving is one of the very uh, delicate part of preparing the turkey. Family. It's an honor. Who will, who will carve it? It's usually an honor. It's the. It's usually. Uh, it's the I can, person who's I can not doing chicken. anything else. I'm very good at dressing chicken. So like slicing the part of it. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, carve it. In pinky style. All right. All right. So anyway, guys, we'll see you later and stick around. I like the dark part too. So I'm just going to uh, carve here. Hey, I'm back. Filipino Web Abroad here. And it's time to judge this bird. All right. So, um, yeah, again, the um, carving part. So, again, guys, this is my first time. So I'm a little worried. No, 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 no. No, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you want to carve like this. Like this? Yes. And so like there, this? there you go. Okay. And just little guys kiss. Uh what the the the, the, the carver the, gets to yeah. taste. So you get to taste this. Okay. You get the first. I'm not really sure of uh the taste I had last year. He made it, Chris made it, so let's try it if it tastes the same because I searched this on the internet. Uh yeah, okay. And, my brother oh, is here. Up today too. I got to tell y'all. Gail is coming up? Yeah. Wow. Because she was initially coming up on Let mom Monday have a piece. Or Tuesday. Mommy you must try this. Okay. That is delicious, oh, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> okay, oh I'm not okay, get off my you're on my back. Uh, mom, do you like it? Yeah, here. Tastes buddy. okay? That's perfect. Perfect. What are nice. you eating? Perfect. 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 Yeah. Uh, Mom said perfect. Jerry would say. Oh, sure is. Yeah, Dash thinks so too. All right. Okay, my brother in law. Chris. That's good. Good. That's good. Oh, good. Just good. Okay. You can taste. All the flavorings, thank you. Very. Yeah, and very juicy still. Then I'm gonna eat. 
turn, uh -huh. turn you into a white meat girl after that? Wow. <laughs> Next. Start here. You generally cut off the drum leg and have the drum leg as a standalone right. piece. Yeah. Really fun. So this is the carving tradition. First we got it. Be careful not to destroy the part. Oh, you did that nice job on that. Yeah, of course. Cut. I have never cut a breast that well in my life. Really? That is brilliant. I've never seen that done. Really? So that's a new, I've never, I never had that skill. So uh -huh. I married that skill. Yeah. My mom would love a piece of the dark. Yeah. <gasps> mm. Like this. I think we're going to put this in. But this is already good here. Uh, Let's hold on. Oh my god, damn, that's good paint. Uh, really? Yeah. I <laughs> It's really look at that, guys. It's really fluffy. I'm gonna let Pinky make the turkey. She's she's won she's won my confidence. Skin, skin, oh my gosh. Right. Okay. So guys, I'm sorry for my hands, but that is all for today and I'm very happy that you know my husband likes it and my mother in law too and I'm very excited to eat with her, with them, with us together. And yeah, it's happy Thanksgiving Day. So see you next time. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to Philippine Wife Abroad and please like this video. See you next time. Bye.